Johnson, Executive Director of Gay City Health Project. So the new campaign Gay City Does uh, grew out of a conversation that we were having as a staff about what are all the things that Gay City is doing right now. And as we made a list of all the different organizations that are impacted, that are using our services, and all the different parts and segments of our community that are accessing Gay City and using our space, all of a sudden it occurred to us there's a lot that Gay City does. Gay City has grown in tremendous ways over since 1995, and certainly since 2001, since I've been on board here. And it's exciting to see that that growth was really organic, that it wasn't something that Monday Gay City is one thing and Tuesday Gay City is something else, but instead that over the years, through thoughtful partnerships and uh, clever ways of working with other individuals and organizations, we've really grown into this organization that serves a broad array of people in our community. And that that happened in, in an organic way from people discovering Gay City, feeling like Gay City does a good job of meeting their needs, telling their friends about it, and bringing them into the organization as well. Gay City is an organization that doesn't just talk, Gay City is an organization that does. And so when we talk about why support this organization, why give money to Gay City, it's really for the things that we do, the things that we do for our community. I mean, it's really just an amazing group of uh, activities happening here and what makes it really clear is that this space was really needed and so people are really glad that we opened this space. I am an HIV STI counselor here at Gay City Health Project. So it's been about five years, in May it'll be five years since I first began uh, here at Gay City and I initially started off as a volunteer and about a year and a half ago I began counseling. I felt so disconnected to the gay community and Gay City was able to fill that for me and you know with that I was able to meet individuals who shared the same experiences who I could easily relate to and from that it's just you know it's been a huge benefit to who I am and to who I am becoming. I support Gay City because Gay City changed my life. By being here and being surrounded by everyone who comes through these doors, it's, it's just really opened my eyes to how connected we all are. And I can't imagine just you know, not being a part of this this organization. It's like I'm proud of the work that I do here. I'm proud of the work that we as a team are able to provide for our community. And it, it's a blessing. It really is. My name is Sherry, and I'm the lead library volunteer here at Gay City. As the lead library volunteer, um, I get to do normal librarian stuff. I check books in and out to patrons. I answer questions. Um, I help people out who come in to access resources or referral information. But then I also help lead the library team. We've got about 18 people at this point. And I help with training, setting up schedules, making sure that everyone's having a really good time with what they're doing. I supported Gay City initially because the idea of an LGBT library was so exciting, like I had to get in on it, and I knew nothing about Gay City at the time. But now that I've been here, I like it even better. I feel like it is such a multifaceted organization that there is something for pretty much everyone in the community. There's testing, but I also did a smoking cessation group that was super helpful. Um, there's a spirituality group. Um, there's just a nice place for people to come and socialize in the library. Like it, it feels like the core of the LGBT community in Seattle, and people love it for that, and I love it for that.
Gender Justice League is fiscally sponsored by Gay City, and when we were thinking about where to get fiscal sponsorship, which was the first step in becoming a nonprofit, we looked around Seattle, looked at the relationships that we had in the organizations that we knew, and really felt comfortable and trusted Gay City to help shepherd us from starting out as a fledgling group of activists to really build some infrastructure into becoming our own nonprofit. I think Gay City has an incredibly long history of stability and growth in working in the LGBT community around health issues. And I know that in the past, I have had really great luck and fortune working with Gay City around cultural competency training, tobacco prevention work, increasing access to HIV and STI testing services for transgender and gender nonconforming people, and really have always felt like Gay City has been a quintessential partner in the Seattle community in serving trans people and gender nonconforming people's needs. Gay City is one of the fiscal sponsors of Gender Odyssey Conference, which is the largest um, trans and gender nonconforming conference on the West Coast. And Gay City has been doing that work for a number of years. Certainly when we had the Trans Health Clinic, we did a lot of shared programming. Um, and I feel like Gay City has always tried to be on the forefront of raising the issue within gay, bi, and trans men's community about inclusion, about ensuring that trans people are at the table, and really looking at healthcare disparity in general for LGBT people. But really, I feel like there's always been a level of support on on Gay City's behalf of the trans community. So yeah, I've definitely actively seen them as a key collaborator and partner in the work that I do. My name is Tyrone Brown and I'm a Seattle-based theater director and producer. I was on the Queer Arts Advisory Council and I also uh, directed a piece for Speak Now um, an event that we did to inaugurate the, the Calamus Auditorium space. Um, so those two are my original associations with Gay City and I've also used the services in terms of HIV and AIDS testing. So, you know, the arts has, has always and will always play an important role in the queer community and um, has a natural connection to a lot of the, the work and kind of the mission of Gay City as well. Um, I think there's a lot of reasons why people should support Gay City. I think um, it's an organization that's true to its mission, that's been successful in terms of um, uh, being able to do the work that the organization does. Um, and for me, that relationship to arts is, is huge. I think the fact that the organization can wrap its head around the role that arts plays in terms of kind of one's health and well-being, especially in the queer community, uh, says something about the organization. Now I get to help in terms of the arts and helping that to be an important part of the, what, the work that we do here at Gay City as well. <laughs> I'm Amber Tejada. I work here at Gay City as an HIV counselor. Gay City is a, a home, basically, for people. Uh, it's a place where you can come, you know, get screened for STIs and HIV. You can uh, hook up with people training for the Seattle to Portland bike ride. You can check out a library, uh, come to any of our fantastic events um, so I mean I think and I hear it from a lot of a lot of clients too that Gay City is a place where they feel at home a place where they feel comfortable and at ease uh, and that means a lot <laughs> I started with Gay City about 10 years ago. I've been involved off and on. Uh, got involved originally with the Over 40s project. Worked on the uh, Happy Penis campaign. Um, a few other things over the years. So, been around a while. And got involved in spirituality. I guess a couple of years ago and uh, came a few times and became a faithful participant sometime this last summer. From the time I was two, I knew that there was something unique about me. By nature of being gay, there's a questioning that goes on. Um, you kind of 
standing here and seeing all of this around you that you're being told is true but somehow you know something is different in here and um, you kind of question the nature of reality and and you tend to be searching inside I, I think that's really kind of the core of of gay spirituality for me it's important to have the spirituality group here because it's a group of men that are supportive of those searches <laughs> My name is Jarek Hoffer, and I'm also known as Jinx Monsoon. I came out at age 14, and I became sexually active at age 17. Um, and I was lucky to grow up in a neighborhood where there was a sexual minority youth resource center, um, a resource center for queer youth. My biggest reason for wanting to give back is and like help out with Gay City in any way that I can is because I think it's so important to have an easily accessible testing location um, and it's just inviting and welcoming and there's no sense of shame or guilt when you walk in because you need an HIV screening or an STD screening for whatever reason. I feel like the counselors here talk to you like a real person and they break it down for you and, and have a conversation with you about your, your sexual health like you would with a friend and I feel like if one of my best friends could administer my HIV screenings this is how it would be. <laughs> I was raised just to believe that you know y you get what you give and if you're willing to be generous and kind and um, selfless to others then you'll receive that same kind of kindness um, in return and I don't know. I, I, I think there's just something about helping other people that y y there's like no way to synthesize that. You know, there's no way, there's nothing you can buy for yourself that can synthesize what it means when you lend a helping hand to someone who really needs it when they need it most. Because Gay City supports the queer community so much and the queer community supports Seattle at large, to donate to Gay City is causing a domino effect that will improve our, our whole city at large. Um, and I don't think a lot of people realize that even a small amount of money can do a lot of good um, with charitable organizations. So even if you can't give a hundred thousand million billion dollars, you can at least give whatever crumpled up pocket change you got tipped by the bachelorettes the night before at your local drag show, and then uh, <laughs> that's at least doing at least doing what you can to help support a wonderful organization. <laughs> I am Peter Jabin, Deputy Director of Gay City. For more information on ways that you can give to Gay City, you can visit uh, our donations page, which is gaycity.org slash donate, and uh, there's a number of options listed there. Gay City does. 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 Gay City does.